What is up with this tent? It's in rough shape. Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ. Got a trippy one for you today. Did you know that before Van Horn became completely run down, it was actually a very beautiful city? Even a tourist attraction here in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'll show you in today's episode. Quick shout out to all the new subs. We are going to have a live stream coming up later on tonight. So if you want to join up, make sure to sub and hit the notification bell. It'll let you know as soon as we go live. Hopefully we'll see you there. Now I do apologize for not having a new video in a while. We were moving Trippy HQ. But now that I've finally moved in, we're going to have plenty of videos and live streams to come. Huge shout out to all the subscribers. So here we are, the Van Horn Inn. Now of course in the game, you can't get in the Van Horn Inn. It's pretty much shut down for good. You take a look at the picture. You can see how there's a blue stripe around the base and the middle of the lighthouse and plenty of green foliage surrounding it. There's another picture right here on the hanging sign. Now let's go in for a closer look. Do you think that same blue stripe is still on this dingy version of the lighthouse? Well, believe it or not, you may have never noticed, but there it is. So it does verify that at one time, the lighthouse might have been actually operational and not half bad looking. But right now, I mean, there's a dead horse when you walk into the city. Bunch of hobos everywhere. There are people living on the houseboats. Not sure what that guy's up to. Must have had a rough night. But to be honest, I'm surprised they're even floating. So here at the north side, the first building is Moaning in Sun. Mother efforts of wagons, buggies, horseshoeing, blacksmith. Now, like everything else, it is shut down. But if you look around the side, there's some rundown wagons, a bunch of supplies that have been left. So I believe at one point, there was a lot of traffic that would come through. There's even a garage or some sort of big room right here that seems like it might have been quite useful at one point. In fact, out of everything in the town, this might be the cleanest area that you can find. Now, right behind it, as you see the train go by, there is a train station Yet, I believe it is the only train station that you cannot stop at. I mean, nobody's doing any ticketing there. Nobody's waiting for the train. So it just keeps on riding by. Some say that the river that runs by Van Horn is the Bermuda Triangle of Red Dead Redemption 2. Don't believe me? Well, take a look at this boat right here. Seems normal, right? Well, it's doing some bobbing. It's turning. And now it is sinking. There it goes. Where else in the game can you find that? So we're right here next to the fence. There's a lot of mystery here. You got Princess IKZ. You can find her belongings. Maybe there was supposed to be a lot more with that mystery that we could have done in game. You know, investigating Van Horn, maybe even finding the princess somewhere around. But if you go into photo mode here at the fence and then look beyond the area that you're not supposed to go to, I mean, look at that. I'm not sure if it was burnt down. You can find a lot of very strange textures which are only upstairs. I think it's another area that Rockstar originally meant us to go to, but they just locked it down. If you look over here where the door is supposed to be, it is completely blocked. Why are you blocking it, Rockstar? What's upstairs? Is that where we can find the princess? What are you doing here in the corner? So did you know there was meant to be a bridge that goes from the mainland to the lighthouse? Special shout out to a channel called Petco here on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description. So they were able to mod the bridge back into the game. This is it. It's still in the game files. So it does exist. Now it hasn't been finished. So as you'll notice, it doesn't really fit in there quite flush. But the way you go to it now, you have to go down, go on those jagged rocks. I mean, in real life, it'd be dangerous. You'd be slipping, probably catching some barnacles. It wouldn't be pretty. For the most part, they don't really need to put the bridge in there. But I gotta say, it does seem to make sense. And I wish that Rockstar would have finished it. There's the trail which goes right underneath the bridge. You can see that one on the right. But the bridge should have been there. Who runs the post office? The post officer vampire. Either that or some sort of albino. Now if you look inside this room right here, and then activate Deadeye, that is where you can find some boxes that are blinking, yet you cannot interact with. So basically, you know, the Deadeye is showing you what is supposed to be something important. Nothing else is blinking, only the boxes. Whatever is inside is completely unattainable. Something could be inside, but we'll never know. The last picture I have to show off 
It's right here above the fireplace in the saloon. You see that? Now, I'm sure you guys know about the rocks that surround that lighthouse. But yet again, if you look at the picture, which is crooked, you can see it is much more green. I think that Van Horn and the surrounding areas were supposed to be much more lush. Rockstar, somewhere along the line, decided to make it completely dead around here. There are some funny missions and a lot of cool things to do here, so it's definitely a memorable location. But it is also the ugliest city in the entire game. Tonight, we're doing some live investigation, so again, sub if you are new and hit the notification bell. It'll let you know as soon as we go live. And one more thing, hit the like button. It really helps out today's episode. Until next time, catch you at the live stream later. Adios muchachos, peace out, and as always, stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?